Okay, so sometimes when you're trying to evaluate a definite integral to get the area under a function, you just can't do it. You can't find the antiderivative. And in those situations, we use numerical methods of estimating the area. And one of the best numerical methods is called the trapezoid rule. So to get started with that, we need to recall the formula for the area of a trapezoid, which says that the area is the height of the trapezoid divided by 2 times the sum of the bases, b1 and b2. So this is b1 and this is b2. All right, well, tip that trapezoid on its side and you get that picture. The area is still h over 2 times b1 plus b2, but now h is going horizontally and b1 and b2 are vertically. And what we're going to do is just stack a bunch of trapezoids side by side underneath a curve and add them up. So for example, if I wanted to get the area under this function f from a to b, then my first trapezoid would go from x1 to x2, and my second one would go from x2 to x3, and then from x3 to x4, and I hope you all see that this is going to be a much better approximation of the area than the rectangles we use with the Riemann sums, right? Okay, so all of these are perpendicular, and they're all the same width. That makes life so much easier if we specify at the beginning that they'll all be the same width. Okay, so we'll call them delta x wide. And the area of the first trapezoid is going to be delta x over 2 because delta x is our h. And this is f of x1 and this is f of x2. f of x3, f of x4, f of x5 f of x6, and finally this height right here is f of x7. So our area is going to be approximated by delta x, whoop, delta x over 2, and the first trapezoid is f of x1 plus f of x2, and the second trapezoid is going to be delta x over 2 times f of x2. Let's make that a subscript. Plus f of x3. And the third trapezoid is delta x over 2. And that's going to be f of x3 plus f of x4. I hope you all are seeing a pattern here because I don't want to write all these out. But I've got two f of x2's. I have two f of x3's. I'll have two f of x4's. And I just have one f of x1. And at the very end, my last trapezoid will be delta x over 2 and the first base is f of x6 plus f of x7. So I'll have two f of x6's because there's going to be one from the previous trapezoid and one f of x7. So how can we put that into a pattern? Well, do you all notice that every trapezoid has delta x over 2 in it? So let me change that to black to be consistent here. So we'll factor out a delta x over 2, and we'll have f of x1 plus twice f of x2 plus twice f of x3 plus, they're all being multiplied by 2 until you get to the very last one, and that's it. So that's the trapezoid rule. Okay, all you have to do is get the width of every trapezoid, the delta x, divided by 2, 
and then add up this sum. The first and last y values are by themselves, and all the ones in the middle are multiplied by 2. So let's apply this to a real problem. We're going to approximate the definite integral of the square root of 1 plus x squared dx going from 0 to 2 using the trapezoid rule with n equal 4. So we want four trapezoids. So to figure out delta x, I'm going to go upper limit minus lower limit divided by the number of trapezoids I want. And each trapezoid is going to have a delta x of 1 half. OK, so my first trapezoid is going to be right here. And my next one is going to be there. And my next one is going to be there. And my last one is going to be there. And you can see we're going to get a pretty good approximation of the area just with four trapezoids. OK, so our area, or actually I should say the integral, right? Our integral from 0 to 2 of the square root of 1 plus x squared dx is going to be approximated by delta x over 2 times f of 0 plus f of 0.5 plus f of 1 plus f of 1.5 plus f of 2. And you remember what we do to all the middle ones? We multiply them by 2. OK? So the end ones, the first and the last, get multiplied by 1. And all the ones in the middle get multiplied by 2. OK, so 1 half over 2 is 1 fourth. And let's get our calculator. So when I put in 0, I'm going to get the square root of 1, which is 1. And then f of 0.5 is going to be the square root of 1 plus 0.25. And that's going to be 1.118 plus twice. f of 1 is 1 plus 1, which is the square root of 2. which is 1.414 plus twice f of 1.5. So I'm going to do the square root 1 plus 1.5 squared. And we get 1.803 plus f of 2. That's going to be the square root of 5. Second square root 5. Enter. And that's multiplied by 1, so it's just 2.236. OK, so let's add all this stuff up. So I have 1 fourth. So that's going to be 1 plus 2 times 1.118 plus 2 times 1.414 plus 2 times 1.803 plus 2.236. And we get 11.906. When we divide that answer by 4, we get that the area is about 2.9765. Well, just for fun, let's go ahead and integrate that on our calculator. So I'm going to go from 0 to 2 of the square root of 1 plus x squared. And that's in terms of x. And we hit Enter. And look at that. Just using four trapezoids, we got a pretty good approximation, didn't we? That's all there is to it.